Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog. I just got ready to go to Iftar with my friend. I'm so excited. I have not seen them in so long and we all have not like been together in one place. I swear like maybe even a year. Just like I feel like as you get older, it's so hard to like get together with your girls, especially like one of my friends, Layla, she just moved to New York. And so she's in town for Ramadan. So we're gonna go to Chipotle and have Iftar. Um, that's what we used to do like back in the day. <laughs> Um, like our teen years, we would just like go to Chipotle all the time. So we're gonna do that today. I'm wearing um, an Aritzia sweatshirt. I got this this weekend when I was in Dallas. I'm, I'm just obsessed with all their stuff. And then my jeans are mango. I love this style. They're super baggy, um, but I just don't know if they still have them in stock. I tried to check a couple months ago and they weren't there but I will try to link something similar if I can. And then don't mind my office because it's a complete disaster and I actually have no intention of cleaning it until next week. I had a bunch of work to do yesterday. I was filming a ton of stuff um, because this week I really need to study for my final. So I was trying to like bulk up um, some stuff yesterday so I can like um, basically do school during the week. And I just don't want to spend my studying time cleaning my office because it can wait. So I actually think we're gonna um, like break fast at our house and then drive there just so we can like pray at home and we don't miss prayer. But um, we have like 15 minutes. I'm really hungry today, it's been a tough day, but alhamdulillah, we got through it almost. So I'm gonna go down to the kitchen and wait to break my fast. the next day i had so much fun last night with my friends oh my god it just like makes my heart <laughs> so happy and so full um we don't get to see each other very often just because like we're all very busy and like marasa mom and like layla lives in another state and we're just like all over the place so it was like very rare that all of us are all together at once so i didn't vlog that much because i just wanted to like enjoy the moment those are like the girls that basically i grew up with from like from before i can even remember so it's just like so fun and the best time um after we ate we went back to Mara's house and just hung out um i had way too much caffeine lately i actually have not been drinking caffeine lately because it gives me anxiety and so i'm suffering the consequences today um so I have my lavender oil next to me. But um, today is Tuesday, so let me give you all a little rundown of how my week is gonna go. So I have um, finals next week on Tuesday and Thursday. So basically this week I'm studying for my finals and next week I take them. So um, in one of the classes, which is a very, very difficult class, if you're in nursing school, then you know um, acute care, med surge too, caring for the uh, acutely ill, that's what the class is called. There's like a bunch of different names, but um, it's basically the hardest class in nursing school and I have definitely struggled in it. Has not been easy at all. And so on the final, we've heard like such terrible things, how it's just like a brutal test. Well, I need a 47 to pass. So I'm honestly like, can I make a 47? <laughs> Surely I can. If I can't, then there must be something wrong. I need to like not be in nursing school, but um, I'm just like very anxious and nervous about it. So um, I am studying right now. I have my laptop out with my book and my notes. So basically um, the way our school is structured, like they post lecture videos online and then you uh, follow along with the book and um, they have like PowerPoint notes that you can like write on and it goes along with the lecture. So that's kind of how you study. We don't have like in-person lecturing, you just like kind of teach yourself, which is kind of nice, but also it's like kind of wish that um, you could get that in-person experience. But um, yeah, that's what's going down. It is 11.30 right now, I actually have to go to school at two so um i'm gonna be studying here for the next like hour and a half and then i'm gonna come back and study some more so it's many hours later and me and amanda are making a tar. so we decided on shawarma sandwiches so i'm making the fries she's making the chicken 
And we're also gonna do fatouche salad. I'm gonna do that, so I'm gonna um, prepare the fries. So I'm gonna do olive oil, salt, and pepper. Should I do garlic powder? Okay. I'm craving Chipotle again. It was so good. Yes, you get that new chicken that they have? No, I just got the regular. And I drank a whole thing of McAllister's tea. And, so oh my god, it was so good. sweet. I got, like, how we usually do it. Alright, I have the lettuce chopped up in a bowl. I know my sweatshirt is dirty. I got coffee on it yesterday. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to cut the bell pepper, cucumber, and red onion. Okay, so now for the dressing. Here is what it looks like. The juice salad is literally my favorite. So typically the correct way to do it is toast pita chips or like fried pita chips and put them in the salad, but I don't think we're gonna do that because we don't have any, right? What? We don't ever really do it anyway, so. Do what? Pita chips. I don't know. So um, we're gonna do olive oil, of course. And then there's two key ingredients. So you need pomegranate, molasses, and some muck. It's um, this spice right here. I don't know what that is in English, but. Ooh, okay, so you put quite a bit of this. Oh my God, this is gonna be so good. <laughs> Yum. And um, I feel like I usually do lemon. I'm gonna squeeze this. Lemon. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, that was good. This is sad today, but sad to say, but I think this is one of the first times I helped cook this Ramadan. Yeah, we know. I've been, uh, I'm still in school, but I'm almost done. But I'm still in school. Mm -hmm. So, now that I think about it, I probably should have waited to do this. No, we don't have that oil. You just put it in the fridge. Okay. I just don't want it to get soggy. Time to break our fast. I've already eaten one day. Today was hard. Every day is hard. Just a bit. Looks like okay. we're getting, uh, again for a Where are you exactly? I swear if we lose pop, we lose power on you on camera. No, I hated that. That gave me too much anxiety last time. We forgot. We forgot we made the salad. Okay, so. It just started storming outside. Onion. Okay, these are the best. So here's my plate. I have my sandwich with all the goodies, patouche salad, fries, and ketchup.
is the next day, the next, I would like to say morning, but it's afternoon. Today did not go exactly how I had planned, but that's okay. Um, so I had an appointment this morning at 8, so I like woke up at 7.30. Um, got there and then when I came home, I was like doing some work on my computer, editing, and then I was like, I'm really tired, let me close my eyes for like 5 minutes. Well then I fell asleep, but I didn't wake back up until like 10.45. So um, I just took a shower and um, cleaned my room. Oh my god, you guys, I cannot tell you. I don't think my room has ever been that big of a disaster. Um, I was out of town. This weekend I was in Dallas and so like I had my suitcase with a ton of dirty clothes and just like stuff everywhere. So um, I put all my clothes in the wash and I vacuumed, made my bed. I feel like I have my life a little bit more together now. But my plan was to like um, edit my video and then start studying but that has not happened yet. I don't know what I'm going to do about the studying thing. My motivation is just like literally going down the drain which is kind of okay because I'm not like in the danger zone but um, I don't know. I don't want to push it. So what I'm going to do is um, start my schoolwork after I um, do my post shower routine. So I'm going to put some moisturizer on. This is the Belief Aqua Balm. Not Aqua Balm. It's the moisturizing balm. I keep calling it the wrong name. I love this moisturizer. Um, I got it during the Sephora sale and um, I just forgot how good it was because I haven't used it in a while. My stomach is already making noises. <laughs> I'm hungry and um, it's going to be a long day but that's okay. Um, I'm really excited because tomorrow I'm going to get a Brazilian blowout. Oh my god. I am very um, overdue, overdue for one. I haven't had one in like a year. I think last time I got one was during Ramadan, during my Ramadan series, so that's actually kind of funny. But um, I'm going tomorrow morning and I'm so excited because um, my hair really needs it, especially because it's gotten so long and it's just like really hard to manage when it's so thick and just everywhere. So I'm excited to do that and I'm definitely going to bring you guys with me. I honestly feel like I can just breathe better um, with being able to see the bottom of the floor because I'm telling you guys it was very, very bad. So I get asked about my sheets a bunch and I just thought I would share. So they are from Cozy Earth. They are so comfortable. I love them. I like sleep like a baby every single night because of them. And then this um, quilt throw is from Target. It's the Casa Luna line. Um, my prayer rug is H&M. I've shared this a ton of times and you guys always buy it um, because it's just so cute. I feel like it's really hard to find really cute prayer rugs. It's not technically supposed to be one, but it... It kind of works as one. And then my rug is from, I believe, Wayfair. I'll try to link everything down below for those who are curious. And then my little bench is also from Wayfair. So cute. I have been on a huge Aritzia kick lately. <laughs> it's like totally ridiculous, but also completely worth it at the same time. So I was going to put on this sweatpants because I have the matching hoodie but it's dirty and I don't like to like wear it if it's not matching I don't know I'm weird so I'm gonna throw on this other matching set from Nasty Gal this is one of my favorite ones I wear it all the time okay so it's actually doha time which is perfect um so I'm gonna pray really quick I got asked a bunch about my prayer clothes last time I believe these are from a brand called Behind the Veil. Um, I did not remember that, but then um, someone asked me and one of you guys remembered from Lost from Madonna and replied to them. So thank you to whoever that was. So I'll link their website below if you guys want to check it out. But um, I like them because they're like not embarrassing at home prayer clothes because my other ones are literally bright pink and I would never want to wear these like in public or on camera because they're just funny. So um, yeah, I really like these.